Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back, Music Wars Empire, episode nine. So we still have three bands signed: Heart, Motley Crue, and our first band, Iron Maiden. Uh, we have taken uh, Heart and Motley Crue off the road. Uh, I've simmed ahead a couple of weeks. We've done some things with Maiden, but I'm waiting for Heart and Motley to get back up to full bore. I'm going to give them, uh, well, you know what? Let's um, let's send them in for a new album. We are July 3rd. We want the band members. Nope. Nope. Mm, yep. And yep. All right. Add. And add. All right. So we've got the two band writers, producers. Uh, I don't know that they're getting any better at production. So we're going to hire a producer. Maybe bad news. I'm looking for somebody relatively cheap. I don't really care about the, the genre. I don't know that that makes a big difference. It's all about what they're good at, right? Mainstream controversy and production, 39,000. 38,000. Like her, 21,000. Production, mainstream, creativity. Let's go ahead and add him. All right. That'll, that's going to add uh, themes. I don't know that the themes really freaking matter. I really don't. And I hate going through them all. I just wish we could randomize them. If I don't pick that, <laughs> what will what'll that do? Uh, English House, select, and standard, and I want, yeah, I want 15 songs. You must select a theme. I hate themes. I think this is stupid. Cliche rock. A little bit of evil. Definitely some independence on the road, out at the club, partying. Molly Crew was always about a little bit of punk. And of course, who doesn't like the occasional sex song? Uh, boom. All right, so they're going to be in the studio till when? October 4th. So studio. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom, in the game, October 4th. Uh, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with them. Uh, heart. is only at 79% morale. Let's book them a little more band practice. I mean, try to use the time wisely. And let's take a little bit longer look at Maiden. So Maiden, I have, uh, if we take a look at their last US tour, well, the world tour, 97% sales, we lost 68,000. We came back to the U.S. for a short tier tour, only sold 66,000. Now, the Armory, remember that was the big one. We sold 6,200 seats. That was pretty good. Uh, but then we sold only 972 the last night, and we lost $123,000. We still ended up making a quarter of a million on the tour with over a million in revenue. Uh, but could have been better. So we are almost through this tour. And you can see 1180 at the gallery is about 50%. Uh, so we have a Canadian tour, then we've got a UK tour, and then we've got an American tour that's going to take us all the way to October 14th, about the time Motley comes out of the studio. And at that time, we'll give Maiden a break and then start on their next album. So they've got three tours in different parts of the world. So we have Canada, the UK, 
and the U.S. So they're working there. Uh, taking a look at discography, Number of the Beast has finally sh uh, shut down. No sales last week. I had just pressed another 10,000 copies, which I was hoping would last it for about six to ten more weeks. Uh, instead, that was a waste of money. By the way, just in case you're wondering, when you go into manufacture, you can choose the drop down or, right, or we can put in whatever we want, right, and 506, just to have something different. Now, if you have one that has zero or you have one that's a default, if you click on that, you'll notice that is when all of these change and lock into the new units that you put in up here. If you don't hit that drop down, they all stay identical. So I don't want those. So we're going to back out. Um, so final record sales tally, it looks like. Uh, let's see. 240, almost a quarter million worldwide. 2.7 million digital streams. Uh, let's see. Back number of the beast on the music video 48,000 views last week 3.6 million for the year uh, I thought I had put down I thought I'd put down for them to work on a new video did I not do that I may not have locked it in one to the hill single Nah, I must not have. Oh, well. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure what those videos do except for waste money. I know in the 80s with the, you know, the birth of MTV, uh, you know, music videos can make or break a career. Uh, unfortunately, they also became more important than the music to a certain extent. Uh, and I think the 80s had great music. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's my favorite generation. I've raised my kids on 80s music. And thank God they love Motley Crue more than they love Justin Bieber. Uh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, just it all became about the image uh, rather than the music. And it really changed the music landscape. Uh, but anyway... Uh, so let's get going. So Motley's going to be going back into the studio. Heart, I want to give some time off to get them back up. So we'll give them a couple of weeks. They're at 79%. And we've just got a long way to go with Iron Maiden because they're out on the road for the duration. Uh, I don't know that it's going to, it won't sell any more albums, which is too bad. Uh, 15 bucks, way too high. Well, that's in Canada. Um, you know, we were doing $25 tickets in the U.S., right? So, let's, uh, this is two weeks in, so let's take a quick look at Heart. 94. Good. All right, so they're going to be practicing this week. And let's start a new album. All right, we can add you and you and definitely you and most definitely you. So we have the four band members, uh, artist choice, so they can have multiple writers, uh, producers. If you know if, if having a band member do production, will it make them better? I do not know the answer. Uh, let's see. 37. 44. Mainstream. 68. Delirium. Ambient. No clue. But we'll buy her. 43,000. Uh, themes for heart. How about 80s nostalgia? Uh, all grown up, breakup songs, cliches of rock, oh, friends, there you go, 
And they'll throw in a little bit of gothic every once in a while. Independence, love, and... Oh, you know, there's a, there's a little self-destruction in there. Yeah, that's good. And a recording studio. I believe we're going to send them back to English House. Thank you very much. Uh, we will do 15 more songs. Let's do Artist Control. Really? 700? Ooh, well, it's cheaper. All right, 708,000. It could stretch out longer, though, remember? So let's give them the rest of the weekend off, and let's send them into the studio on that Friday. And they will be recording until November 1st. All right. So that's good. Maiden, how are we doing? I would love to see a rebound into some record sales, but I don't know that that ever happens. No, that's another week. So it looks like you cap out at 25 weeks. That that appears to be the finito point, which is okay. Uh, shows, we are into May. All right, we're done with that. 60% capacity sold in Canada. That's disappointing. We are not quite. We start the new tour tonight in uh, Northern Ireland for our UK run and activities they're down to 92 percent I tried to give them a break you know now when you do the auto it, it stacks them up right uh, so that's fine let's just go ahead and roll with these guys so most of this is just going to be maiden on tour uh, we are into July so we'll send forward a few weeks. And then we can kind of check and see how that UK tour did. Not sure how many shows we did there, to be fair. I should have looked. You should have reminded me to look. Iron Maiden stuns with high energy. Let's go one more week. So they should be in the studio now, both bands, Hart and Motley Crue. All right, let's take a look at Maiden. And this would be the UK leg. All right, so we finished that. We sold 85% capacity, so that's good. Lost $74,000, okay? And we're coming back to the US starting in 10 days. Uh, West Virginia, Idaho, Rhode Island, uh, doing a, a cross-country tour. And then let's see what their activities are. So they're down to 81%. And when does that end? Oh, I should have that. Tour ends October 14th. All right, so let's go ahead and sim up to that. Uh, we'll get an email before then for Motley Crue, hopefully. Uh, development issues. So heart. Uh, somebody wants to give them ten thousand dollars. So we'll continue the project. And Motley Crue. Uh, let's see. We're doing. He only wants five thousand dollars. Let me do a quick check here for the thing about Motley Crue is a lot of times they would do a cover song right now Too Fast for Love went platinum it's, this is not going to go platinum because they're you know it, it's all based on popularity all right all tracks written by Nikki Public Enemy Number no. One was co-written with Lizzie Gray, who was in London with Nikki prior to Motley Crue. Vince Neil co-wrote "Piece of Your Action," and Vince also co-wrote "On with the Show." So you know what? 
they only want 5,000 bucks. I'm going to treat this one, assuming it's worth a shit, as public enemy number one, and this developer is Lizzie Gray. So we'll accept that. Now that could, you know, could take a little longer to finish the albums. They, you know, they never, you know, like like Guns N' Roses, Chinese Democracy. Remember, it took like what thirteen years before that album came out. Um, Def Leppard took uh, well eight years for uh, Hysteria. Uh, you know, naturally they had some issues that were beyond <laughs> the norm. Uh, Guns was just, you know, personality issues. Pinball has invited Hart to perform at this year's music event. Uh, it's in Europe. It's Europe's only music festival. It's only 30%, but you know what? We'll do it. We'll do it. So let's go check Hart real quick and see when that is going to take place. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're recording, recording. I'm looking, there it is, pinball on the 27th. So 10, 27, 21. So we'll have a festival that we're going to be at. That's cool. Maiden has not been invited to a festival, I don't believe. Awards. They won Breakout Act. Heart Breakout Act. Okay. Best New Act in Asia. Nice. That's pretty cool. Breakout Act at English Choice Awards. Sweet. All right. Good deal, boys. Uh, let's see. September 3rd. We want to go to October 14th to end the U.S. tour for Maiden. And then we'll get them into the studio. Heart. Uh, let's see. So their first album was... Dreamboat Annie. So this is going to be Little Queen. Uh, Roger Fisher. I got to move my headphones here. I'll be honest with you. I don't, outside of Ann and Nancy, I don't know the other writers. Uh, Howard Lease, I recognize that name. Roger Fisher. Okay, so he was with Hart. Michael DeRozier. Looks like he might be an outside writer. Fisher, DeRozier, Howard Lease, and Steve Bossom. Don't know who that is. Uh, so let's see. So we may take a couple of developmental offers here. They want a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, that's how much we've advanced them. Uh, take this job. 5,000 bucks. You know what? We'll take it just to see if it's worth a damn. Um, all right, let's keep going. Again, we want to get to October 14th. And we are, yeah, we're fine on time. A few more weeks, a few more weeks. So we're not worried about record sales because those have all ended. Latest tour is hit or miss. Underwhelm in Idaho. Something was off. All right, well, we've 116,000 in attendance, but we've lost $300,000. That's, that's a bummer. Got a lot of tour left. Hopefully they'll pick up the pace. Uh, let's see, September. And again, you notice when you do the auto book and use the AI, it stacks them real close. I don't know if that's better. Uh, no, we're gonna reject that offer. T 
typically there's no guarantee because it doesn't tell you what the quality of the song is going to be, right? All right, Motley is done with their album. Cool. Oh, wow. Sorry, my background was really fucked up there. I was leaning too far back. Uh, just noticed. Okay, let's go to Motley. Okay. Now, this is their... Okay, that's Leather Records. Okay, so we're going to we're going to do this as the official version. Uh so, we're going to write a studio album. Uh filter by any. God, I wish I could sort. Okay. So Toast of the Town You know, they had Livewire, Public Enemy, Come On and Dance, Merry Go Round, Take Me to the Top, Piece of Your Action, right there, Come On and Dance. Starry Eyes, Too Fast for Love, on with the show oh they had stick to your guns on the electra version on i mean on the leather records version which was their self-release so stick to your guns let's go ahead and add that so we'll do this as their initial version uh let's see this will be too fast for live and we're going to have stick to your guns. Uh, we're going to have toast of the town was not on there. All right. So every day. All right. Fight through the night. You know what? I may not. Man, we'll put that one just because it was a first release. You can see that's our first song in the 70s. Oh, that's awesome. So one, two, three. I need nine. I need ten songs counting the other one. So I need nine. One, two, three, four, five. There's the other one. All right, so these are all the songs that they've just written. So that's six, five, so we want nine. I need four more. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, continue. All right, this is where we sort it out. So we're going to go with Livewire. Stick to your guns is number seven. So we're going to go ahead and move that down right now. Okay, Livewire. We'll go with that. Public Enemy number one. The next one was Take Me to the Top. Mm, yeah, we can do a 65 on that one. Take Me to the Top. The next one was Merry Go Round. I think I want to move this one up. Merry Go Round. The next one was Piece of Your Action, which I definitely want to be one of our top ones one of my favorite songs of Motley Crue just a great groove live wire as well one of the top tracks there all right um yeah we'll go with a 65 here for starry eyes not a bad song not a bad song uh oh you know what oh we're we're doing let me go back. Shit. Okay. 
stick to your guns. That's one. And then we want 10 total, so I need nine more. Okay. Live wire. Public enemy. Take me to the top. Starry eyes. Merry go round. Piece of your action. Right? And then we want one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to have to go out of the 60s. That's disappointing. Because that's 9. Is that right? Take that out. That gives us 8. And we only had 9 songs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, two more. 58, 58. 58, 59. Oh, wait, there's piece of your action. Seventy-two. All right, let me let me look. All right, one. So it says ten, but one. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there we go. All right. Too fast or love. Continue. All right. So live wire. Yes. Public enemy number one. This this one needs to go down. There we go. Public enemy number one. Take me to the top. Merry go round. Piece of your action. Starry eyes, stick to your guns. All right. So the last three are come on and dance, which I'm going to make that one. Not my favorite song. Not that it's bad. This was a great album. Just, you know, these are my opinions. All right. Too fast for love. And on with the show. There we go. All right. Track order's right. Songs are right. Continue. Uh, let's release this on October 18th. I can do that. Let's release it in Canada a week later. The UK a week later. Europe two weeks later. Oceania. Asia. And Latin America. We'll release all those on the same day. Digital release will go out on the 25th. <clears throat> I don't know if that's, you know, what that does, how it affects it. Um, I want to go. I, th I think these songs are good. But again, I don't think it matters how good the songs are. It matters about your popularity and the quality. All right, we're going to go UK. Let's go 500 there. Yeah, I think I'm going to drop that. 250, 250, 500, 250, 250, 250. I think we'll be good there. And 10,000 to lock everything in. Continue. We'll do uh, local appearances. Confirm. All right, let's double check Motley. All right, so the release date on this is October 18th, 21. All right, let's go ahead and book media. Latest album has to come at, well, yeah, right there. Latest album here. Monday the 25th. All 
All right, we'll do that there. Latest album here. Would come up. Uh, we'll do that the day after the release. Heat Seeker and Trend. Must be a quarterly magazine. All right. Uh, so that's all the media that we can do. Morale's at 100%. Uh, let's do a new release, a single from Too Fast for Love. Oh, you know, I forgot to look and see which one was the song written by the other dude. <laughs> I forgot. Oops. Um, I think we've got five singles here. Actually, let's do any. Any. All right. We want to do live wire. And we can back that with public enemy right I think that's a good single live wires the main one all right that albums on the 18th so we'll release that on the 25th and We'll confirm that. All right, new release will be a single. All right, the next one will be merry-go-round and then we can back that with starry eyes. Make sure they're in the right order. 25th, one, two, three, four, we'll do four, let's do four weeks. And we'll do local appearances for that. All right, single. Piece of your action and take me to the top. Did we already do that one? I don't think so. Piece of your action. All right, so we did that one four weeks, one, two, three, four, December 20th. We'll do local appearances. Too Fast for Love and Come On and Dance. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll do local appearances. And should be one more, yeah? On with the show. And... Well... Once you've released it as a single, you can't do anything else. So we will just do... Yeah, fuck. Sugar Sugar is crap. It's not even a real song. It's okay, it's a B-side. It's a cover of the Archies. Oh, sugar, sugar. <laughs> right? All right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Continue, we'll do word of uh, local appearances, confirm. All right, so we've got singles out the wazoo. Uh, let's do a music video. Now, let's figure out. Release date's 1018, right? There's the album. What is that? Studio album? Why, why do I have double studio album release uh, 
Okay, there's all right. Merry go round is the 22nd. So let's do a music video for Merry go round. I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend, just because I love, I love Motley Crue, I'm going to spend the money. Um, 80s themed, yep, select. Uh, production budget is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and record here. All right, music video. What video are we filming? I forgot. On with the show. Theme. Let's do war just to do it. Finalize. All right, music video. PC or action. We'll go with the French guy. What do we want to do here? At a bar. It's got to be at a bar with Molly, right? All right. Music video. We're not doing every day. All right. Let's call. Let's call that good. We'll do three. Three videos. We'll figure out what they are, because uh, I forget. And then. I want to create a set list. All right. So we'll open with stick to your guns. Live wire just to get the crowd fired up. And yeah, I could go in and find the real set lists. Stop. <laughs> uh, public enemy. Take me to the top. Merry go round. Piece of your action. Let's go back to Toast of the Town. All right, we did Live Wire, Public Enemy. Take me to the top. Starry Eyes, Merry Go Round, Too Fast for Love, Come On and Dance, On with the Show, and then we're going to close with Too Fast for Love. There we go. Uh, let's see, Popularity. I think we're just going to hammer out a, uh, a, a long U.S. tour here. Um, activities, book a tour. Let's do U.S. October 21. We'll do a dreadful... Ten. Nobody. That's fine. Um, let's do five hundred. Right. All right. Bama bar. Let's let them get the videos behind them. All right. We'll kick off here. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We'll move to the next Thursday. Puppet Lounge. Sounds like a place Vince could be uh, doing doing somebody in the uh, the burnout. That's where they're going to be doing drugs in the back room, right? <laughs> the crazy monkey. 
That's a fitting place for Motley to be. The Glendale Grill. I'm sure Motley's not going to be happy about that. All right, now let's let's move up to a thousand seats, and let's try to book the next leg up here. Anchorage Heights, Orlando, Rudy's. That's got to be in South Bend, Indiana, right? Well, Tennessee, close. <laughs> Thursday, the fresh squeeze, Friday and Saturday. All right, so I think that's going to be the tour. So we'll go through Christmas Day with Motley. All right, so they're going to go out on tour. We're at 100%. We'll have a couple of videos. The album comes out. Um, oh my god I'm at 41 minutes alright so October 8th alright so let's close that let's go ahead and do one more week this will be a little long episode but we're going to cut it off right here I just want to get to the 14th which we did alright let's check Maiden Let's check the shows. So the last one we were 61%, lost 180,000, did over 4 million in revenue, but the cost was 4.3. That's okay. Um, activities, all right, morale is bottomed out, and popularity, eh, hadn't built completely yet, so. I think we're going to give these guys a month off. We're going to take them off the road. And yeah, so we're just we're going to let them get back up to 100% in uh in their morale and then we'll stick them back in the studio and they'll begin work on their next album. Heart should be just about done. They should uh in the next 2 or 3 weeks. Uh, we'll set that up, and then we'll see how everything's going. So anyway, you can see it's a big rinse and repeat. You can go out on tour as long as you want. Um, right now, my big thing is I'm ready to start seeing how uh, how the bands come together. So what I might do is we may just end up going with some shorter videos moving forward. Um, I may sim ahead and... Do, you know, do all this setup for tours and everything off camera and basically come back and look at record sales, uh, tour results. Unless you guys like seeing this, if it's helping you out, which again, you got to hit the like button to let me know you like what I'm doing and that you want to see more of it. Comment below anything, you know, let me know what you want to see in these videos. Because, you know, again, there's really no gameplay other than plugging in the numbers and, and, you know, doing the math and facilitating things along the way. And then, you know, you can always hire staff members to take over bands for you uh, once they get rolling, whatever you want to do. Uh, the problem with this playthrough is I want the real albums. I want the real songs. So if you have a staff member, you don't control that anymore. So I've got to stay in control. Now, you know, I said I'm not a big Maiden fan. I like them, but, you know, I could put them on a staff member. Hart, I, I like them. Motley Crue, I would want I would want to run their career. Uh, so, you know, it's just up to, you know, up to what you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we will see you next time. Rock on.